hi all welcome back to another video series so as promised we would be coming up with a heavy resume heavy project series so there we are and we would be starting with a series called the e-commerce project uh, on our experience cloud site so what would be the project expectations if you want to pursue this project so we would be trying to mimic our amazon website its various processes and workings and as well as its implementation in the salesforce way so what is there in a amazon website in amazon website we have some products we have a cart functionalities we have different types of users if we say we have normal users we have some seller users right then in here uh, we come across how we would be configuring out things for our uh salesforce process what would be the different processes that would be involved so it won't be if we say that it could be a directly experience cloud project no it's it would be a mix of sales plus service plus experience cloud so it would it would be a mix of all three right so uh let's uh go on understanding it further so what would be the expectation here for our junior developers who would be who would try to um, do their hands on dirty in here so they would be able to understand the exp uh, basis of your experience cloud and they would be having a hands-on with experience cloud in the standard as well as the custom object functionality we would also see how we would be implementing security integrations with payment gateways so that it could be a complete wholesome site right moving further our expectations i would be setting up the expectation for our senior devs so uh, this would be the architecting of the whole solution what would be the uh, in performance parameters what how we would be scaling this and how we would be able to uh, go with our security compliance right so this uh, would be uh, for your senior developers i know these are three points only but in these three points we would be covering entire salesforce if we say as a platform right so let's move around and let's discuss some object relationship that we would be using uh, in this uh, particular project so we would be utilizing some of the standard object because that are already there and some relationship has already been built so first of all is our account object that would represent our both customers and sellers because we are developing a website and a ui that would be for both uh, customers as well as sellers right how we would be managing is we would be having different record types that would be used to distinguish between a, a, whether it is a customer account or it would be a seller account contact we already know the persons working to that account uh, would be our contact but in our case we would be having since we are working in a customer centric environment it it is a b2c only if we say it's not b2b but yeah we would be considering uh, the account and contact and user for the same person let's say a b c is our account so same would be a contact and same would be the user because we are talking in terms of community sense right now we would be also utilizing our pro product object so product object in uh, tells us the inventory of products that would be having right though these objects are generally used in sales cloud and cpq part so that would also be coming if we see as an outcome of this uh, entire project we would be utilizing price books and price book entries for that purpose so you would also get an idea that how different things works because how we would be managing things for our uh, customers and sellers in the price book we would be generating orders uh, orders and order line items for a particular account what they have ordered and what not right we would also be having some case objects in order to track uh, order related issues uh, if we have so some service cloud part also would come into picture right so for some custom objects as i already stated we would be using a cart object that would store all the products via our logged in users so basically what would be uh, the interactive architecture you would be getting to know in parts but yeah this would be an entire high level overview that how we would be planning out things rest we would be seeing like what could be more efficient uh, in the real time go so that is another thing but yeah for now what we have clubbed up in here is for you to have a high wholesome understanding of the project right 
then we have this cart item object so what it would represent it would be a junction basically so it would represent products within a cart right we would also be having some objects for our seller product also so seller is again a different uh, you could say would be a different domain as as well as it would also be a different part of the project so it would be another dimension so seller product would be a junction between account and product to manage which products are listed by sellers right so if you register for a seller account let's say on amazon also so how and which products you would sell that determines this process now we would be having this inventory object also again it would be a custom object that would track the inventory levels for your seller products that how many items sold how many remaining uh, right so all these things uh, would come into play also we would try to integrate with some uh, other uh, external systems in during this project only so we would be adding more details to all these things right so a high level data flow i would be explaining in here would be that there would be two personas one for our logged in users and other would be for guest or unauthorized users so again this would be through community only right so our guest users what they would be having is they would be having a limited uh, access with no data capture right do data capture activity um, basically deals with your cart cart items and orders right so for logged in users we would open up all the access related to them such as purchasing order management and personalized content so purchasing means like when new order record with order line items is there we would be capturing and sending data to the payment gateways for the payment processing part we would deal with the order management part that whether that order got delivered to that person or not so we would be making use of somewhat of google map apis as well in this project going further right so we also would be having personalized content such as uh, data based upon past purchases browsing history etc that we generally have so uh, this would be all in all uh, particular uh, uh, things that we would try to cover in this project i know this would be a heavy project to work on but yeah uh, we would be adding up details step by step in this so that you guys would get an understanding from beginner to an advanced level that how things work so yeah that was it for this video in the next video we would start with the implementation so i hope you guys would start with me and that's it if you have any sort of doubts in here uh, do feel free to comment down below we would be definitely helping you out